and welcome to Hoopla Kids How To. Hello everyone and welcome to Hoopla Kids How To. Today I am going to show you how to make some really awesome Angry Birds Play-Doh. Doesn't this look great? So for this you're going to need yellow Play-Doh, white Play-Doh, black Play-Doh and red Play-Doh. So let's start with the red Play-Doh. We want to break off some and we're going to take the main part and roll it into a ball. Next we want to take some of our white Play-Doh and press it flat. This is going to be Red's tummy, so let's put it on the front of our red ball. Now we're taking some of our yellow Play-Doh to make Red's beak. It looks kind of like a pyramid, doesn't it? Stick it on the front, like so. And already, Red is starting to take shape. Now, of course, we need to do his eyes. Use white Play-Doh to make them. Roll them into a ball and stick them above his beak. Isn't he looking great? Now we're going to do the centre of the eyes with black. Looking good! Finally, red isn't red without his angry eyebrows. So let's put them on. Now all we need to do is to make the feather on top. Use your excess red Play-Doh to do this. Now we're going to make Chuck. We need to make him out of yellow, of course. We want to make a sort of pyramid shape, but we want it to be soft around the edges. Next, we're going to take some of our white Play-Doh and flatten it. Add it on his tummy. Now we need to take some more white Play-Doh to make his eyes. He's already looking good. Add some black for detail. We want to make a beak for Chuck as well. Add it on. And now we're going to make red eyebrows. Isn't he looking good? Finally, we want to take some of our black Play-Doh. We need to add his feather on top. Like so. And he's done. Don't they look great? Red and Chuck. Absolutely awesome Angry Birds Play-Doh. So thank you very much for watching Hoopla Kids How To everyone. If you have enjoyed this video, please do let us know in the comment box below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel above and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. This is super cute and so much fun to do. All you're going to need is a rolling pin, red Play-Doh, blue Play-Doh, white Play-Doh, yellow Play-Doh, and a ruler. So the first thing we want to do is to roll out our blue Play-Doh and our yellow Play-Doh flat. Next, we're going to take the ruler and cut out a star shape. Pop it in the middle of the blue Play-Doh. Now, we're going to make the detail. 
Using a tiny blob of the yellow Play-Doh, I'm making little stars. I'm going to cover the night sky with these stars, just to add some detail. Like so. Doesn't that look pretty? Now I'm going to make the eyes for my main star using white and a tiny little bit of the blue. And of course, let's not forget a smile. And there you have it. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star Play-Doh. How great does that look? So thank you very much for watching Who Play Kids How To everyone. If you have enjoyed this video, please do let us know in the comment box below because we love hearing from you. If you'd like us to make anything else out of Play-Doh, let us know too. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe above. Bye. Welcome to Hoopla Kids How To. Today I'm going to show you how to make old McDonald Play-Doh. Isn't that awesome? It's like the whole farm made out of Play-Doh. So for this, all you're going to need is some orange Play-Doh, yellow Play-Doh, white Play-Doh, pink Play-Doh, black Play-Doh, brown Play-Doh, a Play-Doh knife and some googly eyes. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is to make the pig. Make the body round and use the Play-Doh knife to smooth out any edges. Now we're going to make the head, which is going to be a smaller circle, added on top, like so. Don't forget to make his feet. And of course, his ears. They're two little triangles. And who could forget a pig's curly tail? And his snout. Now it's time to add detail using the black Play-Doh. Two little dots, and then finally add the eyes. And there you've got a pig. What sound does a pig make? Why don't you let us know in the comment box below? Now it's time to make the rooster. I'm using white Play-Doh to make the body of the rooster. It looks like half a circle. And now we're going to do the detail of the tail. Add that on top. Now I'm going to use the brown Play-Doh to make the head. And I'm adding texture to the bottom so that it looks like feathers. Add that over the top and already our rooster's is taking shape. But of course, we need a beak. And some legs. I'm cutting the legs upwards so that it looks like he's got webbed feet. I'm also using some pink Play-Doh to add the final detail to the top of his head and underneath his beak. And then all I need to do is to add his eye. And there we have it, that's the rooster. Now I'm gonna make the cow. Again, I'm using white Play-Doh as the body. Make it into an oval shape. Then, using a bit more of the Play-Doh, we're going to make his legs. Pop them underneath his body. And cut them to length.
We're going to use the black Play-Doh to add detail onto the bottom of his legs. We're going to make hooves. And now using the white Play-Doh, I'm going to make his head. Brown Play-Doh will make perfect splotches for the cow's body, don't you think? So after we've finished the splotches on the body, we're going to add one to the face and then we're going to add two ears. Don't forget, we need to add a tail as well. And finally, some pink Play-Doh for the snout. Then all we have to add is two goggly eyes and we're done. How cool does our cow look? So finally, we're going to make our sheep. Of course, the body needs to be made out of white Play-Doh. Or even black if you wanted to make a black sheep. We should make a cloud shape, like so. Then we're going to use black Play-Doh to make the face of the sheep. Don't forget to add ears. He's looking so cute already. I'm also adding legs. So finally we add some googly eyes and our sheep is done. And there you have it. That's Old MacDonald's farm made out of Play-Doh. Isn't that cool? So thank you very much for watching Hoopla Kids How To everyone. If you have enjoyed this video, please do let us know in the comment box below because we'd love to hear from you. Make gorgeous play-doh dresses. Oh, Tiana, I have nothing to wear to the ball. Hi, Tiana. Hi, Snow White. Wow, your outfit looks amazing, Cinderella. Why, thank you. My fairy godmother came down and made me this amazing gown. Look at this beautiful green bow. Wow. I need to get myself a dress like that. Yes, let's go make ourselves new outfits. Yes, I think it's time for a makeover. Now let's learn how to make some Play-Doh dresses. Tiana's not very happy with this dress, so let's design her a whole new one. Tiana loves the color green, so get some green Play-Doh and roll it into a sausage shape. Then, using a tool, roll it out flat at one end. And very carefully, cut it out to make the skirt. Be very careful when using a knife and get an adult to help you. Now place the skirt on your princess and wrap it around. Now take another piece of green Play-Doh and again use the tool to flatten one end. Cut out a semicircle shape and make sure it's nice and flat. Add this to your princess to make the top of the dress. Now let's roll out some more green Play-Doh. and begin to pinch it back and forth, creating a ruffled effect. Add this layer to the waist of your princess 
and create some ruffles either side. Use the knife to tidy up the edges of the dress. Let's make this dress a one shoulder dress. Now take some darker green and roll a small piece into a thin sausage shape. Use the tool to roll it out flat like a ribbon. Place this round the waist of your princess, creating a sash. Now roll out another ribbon in the lighter green. And press it back and forth, creating a fan shape. Place this on one side of the dress. Now create a very thin piece of dark green play-doh. Place this on the skirt. Make another thin piece of green play-doh and place this across the first piece. Take a small piece of yellow play-doh and put this on the shoulder of the dress. Now create a very thin piece of purple play-doh and put that around the sash. And there we have it! Tiana has a whole new outfit. Doesn't she look great? Oh, I look divine! I am ready for the ball now! Now it's time for Snow White's makeover. Take a piece of red play-doh and as we did before, roll out flat to make a skirt shape. Wrap this around the princess's middle. Now use a bright red and roll out a long flat ribbon. Add this to the skirt to create a second layer. Use the tool to secure this. You can pinch the top layer to create some ruffles. Now roll out a long thin piece of pink play-doh. Place it over one shoulder creating a sash. And repeat the other side. Now using another flat piece of pink play-doh, wrap around the middle. Use the tool to score some lines into the dress. Now using a ribbon of pink play-doh, fold back and forth, making a ruffle. Press this down onto the skirt. Now let's create a bow. Take some yellow play-doh, and flatten into a bow shape. Place this on the middle of your princess. Now take a small piece of pink play-doh and roll into a tiny ball. Flatten with your finger and use the tool to pick it up and add it to the bow. some small pieces of yellow play-doh to add some buttons to the dress. Now roll out a sausage shape in red play-doh and flatten with the tool. Cut out using the knife. and fold back and forth to create a ruffle. And there you have it! Snow White has a whole new outfit. I can't wait to show my friends!
I hope you've had fun making these Play-Doh dresses. Why not try designing some more Play-Doh dresses? Please come back and watch some more videos and we'll see you again next time. Hello everyone and welcome to Hoopla Kids How To. Today we're going to be making an awesome Play-Doh Peppa Pig. Doesn't she look cool? All you're going to need for this is red Play-Doh, white Play-Doh, pink Play-Doh and black Play-Doh. First we're going to take our pink Play-Doh. You want to set some aside. And then we're going to take the rest of it to make Peppa's head. It needs to be shaped kind of like a teardrop. So remove any excess Play-Doh so that you're happy with the shape. Now at the top we're going to flatten Peppa's nose. Keep smoothing until you're happy with how Peppa looks. Set that aside and now we're going to take some white Play-Doh. We only want a tiny bit because this is going to be Peppa's eyes. And on the white, we're going to put an even smaller bit of black. Pop it right in the middle. See? We're also going to put two dots at the end of Pepper's snout. Take a tiny bit of red Play-Doh and make Peppa's mouth. We're also going to put two dots of red Play-Doh on her cheeks, just to make them look rosy. Now we need to take some of our pink Play-Doh that we set aside. We're going to make Peppa's ears out of this. Stick them on top of her head. Gosh, she's looking good, isn't she? Don't forget to make two ears. And there's Peppa's head. Now we're going to make her body. We want to do this out of the red Play-Doh. Roll it into a cone shape. And then set Peppa's head on top. Make sure that Peppa's head isn't too big for the body. She's looking good. Now we want to take some more of the pink Play-Doh because we have to make Peppa's arms. Roll them into a spaghetti shape and then we're going to add a ball at the end to make Peppa's hands. Don't forget to add the finger detail. We want to do this twice. Make sure that Peppa's arms are the same length. Nearly there. Looking good. Now we need to make Peppa's legs. We're going to do this by using the pink Play-Doh to make two spaghetti shapes. We also need to take some black Play-Doh and make Peppa's shoes. Put the Play-Doh up around her ankle. It'll look like she's wearing her shoes.
Look at that, two legs. Then we just need to sit Pepper on top. Don't forget to put her arms on. And there we have it. Peppa Pig is done. Doesn't she look sweet? A Play-Doh Peppa Pig. Awesome. So thank you very much for watching Hoopla Kids How To everyone. If you have enjoyed this video, please do let us know in the comment box below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel above and we'll see you again really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.